I am Belion the blacksmith. Although, no, that isn't true anymore. Forgive me, old habits do not die quickly for me. I am Belion, Lord of Ibelin, and husband to Maria, the mother of Princess Isabel and wife to the previous King of Jerusalem. My transition to rulership of these foreign lands was made markedly easier by the recruitment of several talented individuals to staff my court. Zenobi de Calvinzano, a young man who came here from the lap of luxury in Venice, bored with the life of a noble, he has chosen to serve under me. From what I've heard from a few Venetian traders who know of him is that he was banished for defying his father. I, for one, cannot judge any man for their past, for mine has been a turbulent one. In the coming years, I flaunted my disregard for Duke Guy de Lusignan, husband of Princess Sibylla, and man who would be king, an arrogant man, who thinks the people he rules over beneath him. I chose to war with the Duke. I led our army to Jaffa, not far from Ibelin. Despite his experience, he did not possess the men of renown that I had gained through diplomacy and friendship. His army was routed and the ally he called unwilling to engage our stout soldiers. Despite my rebellion, the King of Jerusalem in his infinite grace forgave me for my crimes. In turn, Duke Guy only relied on me more. He had little appetite for the whims of stewardship, and so, we found claims that I could use for his title. To become Duke is not an ambition of mine, but only a burden to further my service. That is when word came that the venerable Pope Lucius called for the Third Crusade. In the early days of this holy war, I led my men into battle against the Saracens. Saladin had yet to arrive, dwell upon the Lord and his many mercies. We have a very interesting situation here, where we are surrounded by enemies, enemies who might threaten our longevity over here by Jerusalem. But we shall see in time. I lead very few men into battle. By I, I mean Duke Balian over here, of Evelyn. His wife is currently pregnant. We may soon have a son, or a daughter of course. Now hopefully more Christians will come and rise to the call. We are doing this for Christendom. And over here, we have a few new characters, like Sophia. You remember her. And our Bavarian knight right over here. Falco Kaiser, what a name. What a large fellow. Well. He's a stepfather now. She did get away in battle, so I thought over here, having her possess Lightfoot, it would be suitable. And here's a son too, Pavlos. Maybe one day he'll change his name. He'll be a good fighter. But they're here to fight for me now. Okay, let's get ready. Count Guy, he's doing quite well too. He serves me and man does he hate me a lot. He's in debt, he's a bad leader, but he's a great commander and a great warrior too. Now, the princess who once loved me, or potentially still does, she's over here. Well, she feels okay about me. She's rather ambivalent. Now, she has so many children, it's rather incredible. Isabel is 21, but I'm gonna wait to find her someone to marry. She's lovely, and we'll find someone suitable for her to marry one day. Now, over here, I have everything I need. I've got over 1,000 men, and we've got some enemies to fight. Why don't we do that right now? We're heading right in. I can't fight major battles, but what I can do, I can fight more minor ones. It's actually a good thing I didn't fight them. Have a look at that. They've got thousands of men on the way. So I better roll back over here real quick. Our control is going up. I've got to dance around or they're going to catch me. If they catch me, I'll die. And I'll die quickly and easily. I wonder if they're going to hunt me down. We're going to head back over here to our capital while they chase me down. Here's Jerusalem. Are they going to pursue me more? They might just do that. If they do, oh no. But for now, why don't we lead them astray? They can follow me. We do have a new perk to pick up. Loyalty and respect. Oh, I do like that. Never back down. We need that even more. Friendly, fatal casualties down by 20%. We can save a lot of lives. And over here, we get more of an advantage in battle, plus five. A very good score to have. Okay, so we're leading them around again. I'll catch them one day. We're still waiting on more Christians to get over here because, my god, 
There are so many of them. We're trying to get out of here right now. They have a lot of men. They could easily catch me, so I just need to maneuver around if possible. I need a few more of them to go away. If I try to embark, well, that takes time, a bit of preparation, and that's all that I do not have right now. I've got some money, I've got some power, but I do not have time. So, off we go. We'll try to avoid a few more. They might intercept me, and if they do, even if we win initially, have a look at that large army. So what we'll do, we'll come up north, because we do have good Christian men who are helping us fight. And that's what we need right now, if we want to survive. All right, off we go again. They can help me out. And our other hope too, is that other Christians may help us out. I'm sure more might take up the mantle, the burden of trying to fight for Christendom. Now over here, we have the rise of the Mongols. Word has reached me that a new leader has risen up among the barbarian tribes of the distant steppes. This Kagan Timuchin has declared himself the ruler of the universe, Genghis Khan, and has sworn to conquer the entire world. He is not the first to make that threat, but the story goes that the Kagan rides at the head of a horde of invincible horsemen that cannot be killed. Have a look at him. The greatest of Khans, only 30 years old, he's got many children, including Jochi over here. It's going to be a challenge. For them, not for me. Hopefully, if anything, that might help us out, depending on where he conquers and where he goes. But there we go, we made it up north. That was actually really scary. Look at how many enemies we have over here. I can't do much done over here. Okay, we're done getting more control back at home. We do have good Christian men close by. Oh, more are coming too. Even the Holy Roman Empire, even though their current ruler has come up short, as you can see over here. He's 25, his wife is pregnant. Well, good for you, over 10,000 men. Now, let's hold on. What's in a name? Another daughter? You're kidding me. How many daughters am I going to have? All right, Beatrice, that shall be your name. We'll check on her later on. Now, we do have a lot of allies close by. I'm going to wait for them to fight before I jump in. Then I'll jump in and help out where it's really appropriate. You're done? All right, very good. Train commanders, make our knights a little bit better. We'll try to get some claims later on. Now we could also besiege. They do have very many quality locations, however. That's pretty scary. All right. I think what we'll do, we'll come over here. What do they have? Well. They don't have a large garrison, but they do have one. I would like to, again, just take out small armies where I'm able to. We're fighting in a crusade rather early on. What now? You don't like me? My friend, we don't have time to squabble. We should be united, all of us here. Oh, they're getting away. I'm not that quick. Eventually, we'll need to disband. If I go over there, that'll be an issue. So I could help him out. A soldier of the cross, very good. I've got a new trait now, crusader. Well, that's great. More martial, more prowess, more clergy and same faith opinion too. Billion has done his Christian duty and participated in a crusade. That I have. So now I'm stronger than I was. We're losing a few supplies. I can't really afford to do that. Instead, we'll head somewhere else right now, wherever else. Oh yeah, look at that. They've got a lot of men. We do have more again on the way. The Christians are coming. Now who died? We've got to be mindful of who's dying. So who's over here? Ah, Sicilians, your father, or whoever he was to you, was quite old. I'm not going down yet. Instead, we'll go besiege some location. I'm actually quite interested in how the crusade might go. Saladin is quite the threat. He's very powerful. He's a notable threat. We've got 1,200 men close by that we could go fight. If I fight them here, we could certainly win. Let's go do that right away. Here, okay, the Battle of Azaz. Their commander, Mahmoud, he's a good commander. That's it though. Now, he's got six champions. I've got more. Go on now, let's beat them. For God. 
We'll go after Muzaffar. He's right over here. I am much more powerful. As you all know, we are going to duel whenever possible. We've got to. All right. Let's have a look now. I'm not going to throw money at him. What a waste. I'm diligent. That's the best you've got. You can't even hit me. And over here again. Strike, parry, repost. We'll go again. Strike, parry, and repost once more. Victory. I've gained another victory. Now, I could have him killed. So I shall. And he's gone. I sent him to his grave. It's over now. The battle is going our way. The Battle of the Mosque of Azaz stood on the ridge overlooking the Battle of the Mosque of Azaz a short distance from the front lines. Me and Erad observed the enemy's forces movements. Now I could tell him, I am the commander here. He might be severely injured. He's a good fighter. But don't forget, I command here. That gives me more prestige. Prestige I need. Now, let's have you get married. I don't want you to die without having children. You are strong. You are a good man. Let's see. You know what? I'll look a bit later. For now, let's fight our battle. Because we need to. Because we must. And there. We've won. It was costly, but we did it. My supply pool is rather limited. So again, we need to watch out. Alright. Now, to find a good wife for you, let's find someone who has a trade. A good trade at that. Who do we have, by the way? A princess for you? I think not, my friend. How old are you? 35 years old. Ah, glowing and quite fertile. Well now, you know what to do. I mean, sure, your arms aren't really working, but you don't need an arm where you're going. Or where you're coming. All right. Over here, there's a major battle. The Battle of Damascus. Saladin himself leads. Oh, he's winning. He is outright winning. Our forces are not united. They are being quite greedy right now. What we'll do, we'll come over here and wait. I'm just here to win a few battles. I did lose only 66 men. We won a major fight. My knights killed over 200. They had very little on their side. Count Guy, he killed 58. Many of you told me that my pronunciation of his name in French was pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> I had no idea. And I prefer saying Count Guy to Guy, so that to me sounds better. All right. Saladin won a major battle at Damascus. Hopefully the Christians can again rally because we need to rally. We've got to unite. Let me check real quick on my council. We need more control over here. It won't take too long. I'm just here for a bit of stability. We're still trying to get a claim. And right now, I would like to have some manner of role on his council. He's not providing anything for me, which is, again, a shame. Stephanie is so talented. A gorgeous woman, too. Look at her. I love her hair. 47? Really? My god. Okay, then. All right. 800 men. We don't need to be there. I'm losing a few supplies, but not too many. Oh, do supplies not go away nearly as quickly? Well, that's really nice, actually. Because you can recall <laughs> how things get whenever you're playing the base game. You lose supplies so rapidly. So very rapidly, man. All right. Let's come. Not there. Not there. Wow, they have it under lock right now. We'll just wait for now, okay? I'm still waiting and seeing. I'm quite far from home. I would like to replenish my levies a bit. I could disband and come back later. But we'll see in just a moment. Hopefully, again, more Christians might join us. Because look at that. They're all spread out and waiting. They're not just getting rid of their supplies. So they are performing quite well. We do have many enemies around us. Oh my god. The Christians who are here. So many strangers who are trying to fight. What can I do about that? That's a good question. I need to go to a friendly area. Well, let's try to do that. Unless we get cut off, then we can't. But they are besieging so much. They're taking over quite a bit. Let's head over here to a capital of an enemy land. Is it a capital? Oh, their capital's over here too. The Arabian Empire. Right now, they are losing. We are winning by just a bit. Saladin the Great. Look at that. He was winning... <laughs> All of his wars before. I mean, he was losing for a time, but if you have a look at his lands over here, I think he won them all. So many people came after him. Now, we were actually meant to be invaded by Saladin, but evidently King Baldwin didn't die so early on. He's got God's vengeance. He's a leper, but he's holding on. So we did luck out. We were quite fortunate. He also punished a man who was trying to break a treaty with Saladin. 
That's what I was told. So again, we were blessed by God. Now I've got small plantations. So now we have more money coming by. It's been a very long battle. We're going to besiege for a bit of time. A battle is finally happening over here. Oh, look at where it's at too. The Battle of Masyaf. Saladin is back. Now I do wonder, Altair, you're only 28. You're so young, man. It feels like we've been here for a long time, but we haven't been. I haven't jumped in yet. Look at the Crusaders. What are you doing? All of you should be here fighting. Oh, England is here too. So Richard is fighting as well. Interesting. Saladin is still alive. He's a bit older now, 55. He won't always be here. If he passes on, maybe we'll have a good opportunity to finally win. He's won now two principal battles. That's really bad for our Crusaders. 89 knights total. 41 champions over here for our side. They were absolutely destroyed. Okay. Maybe more soldiers will come by. Now, we have besieged a lot, which is a good thing. They're back to fighting again. They're fighting who? King Magnus. Okay. He's a pretty good commander. Not the best, but he's pretty good. I'm not really participating myself, but keep in mind, I don't really own a lot of land. Nor do I have a lot of power. So I did what I could. I'll come back in just a bit. Don't worry about that. Here's King Philippe. I wonder who we might lose here. Here's one dead duke. They're losing a lot. I wish I could see more detailed information. Oh, young boy. Good luck fighting there. You're done? Okay, that's good. They've lost two more battles. So even though we're winning the broader war, they're winning every single battle. I wonder how long they'll be able to last. Okay, Jaffa. We've got to have more control. I'm making more money. We're not having to worry about epidemics. And over here, my wife is going to have a child soon. Meanwhile, maybe I should get ready and go out and fight. I've got 1,300 men I could bring in. I'm also gaining more money too. King Baldwin, you're still alive? Wow. Well, good for him. Are you not actually fighting in the war? That's a really good thing too. Because I am. But that gives me a safe bit of land. However, if he joined in, then I suppose... They wouldn't be able to quickly cross through to chase me down. Yeah, that would be it, huh? It's not very likely that we're going to win the crusade. Not because we're doing poorly. No, that isn't really the case here. We have one issue, though. The Pope is very old. Once he dies, the crusade is over. We're so close to winning, too. And we're doing so well. We're going to keep on fighting because we should. Because we've got to. It's for God, you know. Count Guy, you've got a commander advantage of 45. I'll choose over here our good friend, Balian. Now, let's go over to the mountains. We have more enemies to kill. I have a daughter. Wow, another daughter. What a surprise to me. Isabel, you're 23 and fighting? Okay, if you want to. There's a good name for you, my daughter. We're going to educate her later on. Now, Stephanie, you've got to like me. I can't believe you're 49. What do you do to your skin? Oh, dear God. Okay, Stephanie is gorgeous. However, her husband, well, he was a troll. And a troll has troll children. Have a look at that daughter. You could land a freaking plane on that forehead. That's terrifying. All right. Let's come back over here and pretend we never saw that. So here's another major battle, the Battle of Montreal. Here we go, a rare opportunity. I could attack a Sultan, really? Or I could go after you, I know you're very good. You've killed some good people, including one good Christian man. I'll go after the Sultan. I'll try that out. What's over here now? The Battle of the Barony of Montreal. As the battle progresses, I take some time to sit back from the combat and observe my forces and the tactical decisions I may need to make to ensure victory. During my time observing the army's strategic potential, I notice a handful of fighters from my own levies making significant progress on the flank of the enemy's charge. Really? And one caught my eye. Well, bring him to me, I suppose. He's a young man. 15 prowess is really good, by the way. Let's get him married right away, too. 
All right, we need someone a bit younger. 35? No, there we go. There's your beautiful wife. Now, back to the battle again. I didn't get their leader, but that's okay. It was worth a shot, I think. We still did win. We got them there. Oh yeah, they're losing it. I lost only 124 men. I gained 63 fame, 31 devotion, and there's my war score going up by just a little bit. But I did defeat a very powerful man. My knights killed 198 of them. Count Guy, 31 kills. We didn't take out any of their champions, but that's okay. Let's go back now, right over here. I do have a lot of money. Why don't we invite over a few new knights? I could always use more powerful individuals. So you died, Muhammad. You were a bit older, that's true. And over here, they're about to take over Damascus. Great, that's really good. It won't end the war, but that's a great victory. Can we come over here to attack that army? I hope so. I would love to be able to do that. Oh, they're trying to get away. Why don't we stop them here and now? Now, Thomas, you would like to join me. 18 prowess, get over here, man. That's a lot of money, but there's another great warrior who's here to serve God. You can marry her, perfect. Okay. Let's go back now. Ah, oh, they're getting away, aren't they? No, they're not. We'll get them. Over 700 men. I want to defeat that Sultan again, and so I'll do it again. They've got some defensive buildings, but I don't really care. Let's get them here and now. The Battle of Therima. They've got their seven champions. Okay. Sanrisho. You've been a great champion for him. I'll fight him now. Don't forget, I'm the fastest blade in Ascalon. There. Now, what should I do over here? I could throw money at him. No. There we are. I'll use my special ability again. And strike, parry, repost. Victory for me. He was only wounded. I am victorious. But I did beat him. My glory is widely known. And I have a new perk too. Interesting. I could try to capture him. There. I've got him. Now, let's have a look over here. The Battle of Ferrama. Standing on the ridge overlooking the battle, a short distance from the front lines, me and my knight over here see that the enemy's forces are moving around. Everything is going as planned, and there we go. I'm now a proper blade master. Great. I could tell him to go fix my mess. That could be interesting. Yeah, I could gain a new trait called Organizer. That would be great. We would be able to move a lot faster, and we would lose fewer troops when retreating. Let's do that. I've got it! All right! <laughs> I was watching the whole time. Very impressive. Look at that. Our knight killed one of their soldiers. Even better than before. We beat them. We tore them apart. Now, let's go back home. When it comes to the crusade, look at how much we've done. As such a minor faction, by the way. Oh, you're lucky that we have an old pope. Now, I'm going to take Bellum Justum because we want our Cass's belly to be cheaper by 50%. That's going to be great to have. Okay. You're trying to get a claim. That's fine and fair. I actually don't want one over there now because Stephanie likes me. Come over here instead. It'll take you 19 months, but that's really not too bad. All right. We could use a bit more development. But that would take a long time. Just get me more money, okay? I lost only 70 men. Well, that's great. We have more control. Kosu! You got who? You killed the Sultan. Really, Kosu? Oh, wonderful. He's got a scowl on his face. And a much older wife who also killed one of their warriors, too. Well, that's wonderful. Good job killing him. The dead eye? Yeah, he's got dead eyes. Thank you very much. Louis, you died. You were 64, a torturer, and a schemer. That's what you were. Understood. Now, I could ransom that guy, I wonder. Would you like to join me? You've got to convert, though. Wonderful. 
So now we have someone new over here who's very talented. I could make him my court blade master. We're gonna wait for that. That is a modification, by the way. Now, Eric, you're a child of Nizam, a knight of mine, and Katarina, my spy master. You're very good, okay. You want to learn stewardship, really? Could I change that? No, you've got to focus on more martial matters. Okay, that's what you've got to do. Let's have a look now. 35 for Count Guy. That's wonderful. Take that right now, young man. That's a good young man. All right, so now back we go. Look at that. They finally did beat Saladin right over here in the mountains. However, they still do have their armies up north, and soon that crusade will be over. I'm so glad King Baldwin didn't die. It's been quite fortunate that he didn't die. Now, we could build up some new buildings. I've got the money for it, too. We could use more levies. That would be great to have right now. 125 more men. More damage for my spearmen. Now, hold on. What do I really have right now? I've got armored footmen. No bowmen right now, which is really unfortunate. I suppose I could wait. Watchtowers are not really that valuable in my view, so we'll wait on that. What about for my monastery? 100 gold, 0.2 for taxes, I'll take that. I'll save 50 gold. And why don't we besiege for right now? Oh, they're retaking a lot of lands. Look at that. We had so many Christians die in our war, and here they come right now. They're trying to chase me down, so we'll move up north because we need to. We could wait over here and help out for a time. That wouldn't be the worst choice, I think. Yeah, let's wait over there. The crusade fells. The Pope has died at 95 years of age. That's incredible. How did you live that long? <sighs> it's okay though. Saladin, you may have won. But let me tell you one thing right now. We've done a great thing. If we have a look over here, well, hold on. Let me disband my army. If we have a look over here, his son has been captured. He's 25. He's very strong, but he's been captured. The Christians are going back home, but our kingdom stands right now. That's amazing. Saladin is under attack by many enemies, and he has been weakened. So even though the crusade failed in its primary objective, the greater good will be preserved. That's okay. That's good enough for me. Here's another guy over here. 30 gold, I'll take that for a lowborn, okay. So I'm gonna make some more money now. I could use a son one day, my wife is getting older, we have a very narrow window, I'm sure. But look at me, I'm 39, I've got 41 for prowess, I'm incredibly powerful. I made a little bit more money, we have a new pope now. I wonder if he's young. 79. Compared to the old pope, yeah, he's very young. How's England doing? Oh, they're doing fine. They're gonna have another child. You're scarred. Man, you are a great commander. And over here in France, another brave fellow. He's doing okay too. For the Holy Roman Empire, the Dwarf Emperor is 28. He's got a lot of money. Good for him. Now, what about Saladin the Great? He's got some money. He's fighting many wars. He probably won't bother us, which is truly ideal. That's what we need right now, a bit of peace. Now, I do wonder if we could go after anyone around us. Now, you did marry Isabel. That's my stepdaughter, by the way. He's a bastard, but he has many claims too. Who knows, maybe one day that could come into play. Not right now, I don't have the power. I wish I did. Oh man, imagine that. They would be quite close to me. He's in debt right now, but I have no allies. If I had a few powerful allies, yeah, we could do that. That would give me 1,000 fame and 1,000 prestige. I would also have a hook on him, which means if they had a child, well, maybe I could press a marriage over there. So there are ideas that could help me out. Man, Count Guy, you hate me so much. <laughs> yeah, he's my rival. But he's not plotting against me, as far as I know. Do you have a faction? Oh, you do. But you're only ever the only member. 
We can't really be picky about gender when it comes to serving God over here in the Holy Land. Have a look at what little land we have. We need every able-bodied person, male or female, to serve and fight for God. So, if she's able to swing a blade quite well, come join us. 35 gold, sure. My wife found for me over here, 50 gold. I don't really care. If you can cause our enemy to bleed, and they have a problem with that, they would probably feel great shame. His son is still in prison, too. Oh, that's gotta smart a little bit. Your oldest boy. My wife is again pregnant. Okay. We've got maybe one more shot to have a son. A reading over here. Interesting. A tedious feast became even worse when Sophia suggested a reading from the Tritula. Thankfully, Falco soon suggested reading riddle poems instead. That's really funny. Good job, Falco. They are together, too. They've had no children yet. One day I would like to give them land, but I can't do that yet. Maria, you would like to be forgiving. You should be. Not a bad choice, I think. A saint over here in heaven. Huh. You come from his line. A line of Vikings. Interesting. Well, they're holding on, kind of. I gained 75 more gold. That's great for me, so I have even more gold now. My stress has been going up, so why don't we go on a hunt? I'll lose 60 stress total because I'm diligent and brave. It'll only be 67 gold, so we'll do that right now. The shot. Interesting. You would like me more if I allowed you to do it, but I'm going to bring it down. That's 150 more prestige. And what now? Oh. Have a look at that. The assassins over here are coming after our king. We're going to have to rally up now, Altair. Hopefully you'll be okay. And Sophia, no! If I had a horny gel... Wait, I do. Okay, well, I might put you there. You need to calm down. You can't do that, okay? Don't do that again. You are married to a very good man. Okay, we do return home reinvigorated. And I also have over here a new perk. I could get loyalty and respect. Peacemaker, gallant. Organized march if I want to move even faster. That would be great, but let's come down over here. Why don't we do that? And also, we've got to get our army together. Thankfully, he's got many men. He's not in debt right now. We've got to defend. I don't know if they have any allies or not. They have no allies. Okay, that's a good thing. Antayir, you have a great fortress. And here's a castle over here that's quite good too. Fort level 22. I don't know if we would be able to take those two forts. I do want them though. Ooh, an epidemic though. Oh, that's really bad. They're losing a lot of money. Actually, let's have a look around real quick. Anything that's white has an epidemic. Oh, we have one too. Lovely. Yeah. We've got a few issues back at home. It's all consumption here. Ugh. I finally had my son and heir over here. Oh, Maria, you have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect little son. Why don't we name him after me? There. We also have a claim on Acre. I'm going to raise up my men in just a bit. Okay. So right now, you would like to go after some manner of enemy over here. Good luck to you. I'll come over to help out in just a little while. Wait, are they not going to help out? Baldwin, you need to get over here. I've got over 100 gold. I'm saving gold right now. They're coming back down. Okay, let's bring up my soldiers too. Count Guy, you're not going to take command. It's got to be me. Okay, let's carefully hold on. I'm going to help out, but they've got to be a little bit closer. My dear wife... You could, I don't know, tutor someone. Sure. But instead, stay here with me. We might even have another child. Who knows? She is older now. Oh, they left me again. Yeah, I won't be able to help out until they come over here. Let's move up. Just a little bit. I've got to wait for them. I don't want them to besiege my lands. I could hire some mercenaries. But 4,000 men is a lot. I don't want to waste all of my money going after that group. Not right now. Even though, again, I do want to beat them. 
Oh, look at how long that siege is going to take. Two years. And they're losing so much land. If only I could take command. Now, I've got a new martial perk. Peacemaker. There we go. Peace acceptance up by 10. That means it'll be easier to end any war. Could I beat you guys? <laughs> yeah, she's pregnant again. All right, here's what I'm going to do then. If you're not going to help me out, I'll get some more money from the Pope. He won't like it, but he's going to give me more money. And while I'm here, hold on. We also have Holy Orders too. Oh, have a look at that. The Knights of Santiago. Now, it's not my direct war, evidently, so I can't hire them. I thought maybe I could, but it's not mine. All right, so I've got my forces over here. Who do I need to hire? Oh, it would only be a bit over 700 men. That wouldn't be sufficient. They're about to take over, too. Baldwin, what are you doing? All right, we're going to have to wait. They're just trying to go after Nimrod Castle. Unfortunately, my wife did have a miscarriage. But we've been blessed with so many children. Now, over here, I could give you a lesson on valor. Sure, I'll get more stress, but you're my daughter. I've got to teach you. Oh, look at that. We're going to lose Jerusalem. What a shame. I was really hoping that maybe he would come back down to help out. Beatrice, you're brave. Well, that's very good. My army has been disbanded for now. That way, we can save a little bit of money. They're still close by. They're about to take over Nimrod Castle. What a great area, too. It's so hard to take. It takes years to conquer it. I could try to conquer lands internally, but that wouldn't be right. They're right by my territory right now. 4,200 men. Oh, man. Have a look at Nimrod. They've got a bit more time to go. Let's have a look over here. So, you need a guardian, child. Yeah, sure. I'm going to pick one out for you. It won't be me. It'll be Count Guy. He's not a big fan of me, but that's all right. Now, for my own boy, I think I'll educate him. I think I'll do a good job. I've got some pretty decent learning. Oh, yeah, look at that. 4,400 men. Once they're done up there, they'll probably come down. Now, I can finally pick up the gallant perk. So, what does that give me? That gives me plus two to martial, plus four to prowess, 20% more prestige, and 20 for my attraction. That's great. Let's come over here to stewardship again. Actually, what about diplomacy? Yeah, I'll take that because I could use more prestige. Perfect. So now we're doing that. We're still waiting on them. I do have a lot of stress right now and a lot of money to spend. Okay, I'm gonna go on another hunt because one day I would like to get a hunter trait. Far from people. Oh, no, no, no. We don't do that. All right. I'm here to hunt. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, okay? I've got a great wife. A ruler in the making. Ah, have a look at that. My boy is bossy. Well then, if you're bossy, you can focus on a martial education. That sounds good to me. You'll be like your old man. See, we still can't beat them alone. What's over here? We're back now, 150 for prestige. That's really good. I could become a patron of my family annals. Sure, 100 gold, 100 piety. Let's do that. Now, what should I do here? I could become a founder. Let's see, my patrilineage. Why don't we do that? I need to learn more about that modification. I'll gain 150 prestige. Okay, let's do that. Very cool. I'm a founder over here. I've got my new fame trait. I'm currently 43. I've got my child. It took a long time to have a son. It didn't really matter, though. Having a daughter lead would have been fine, too. Okay. I think they're coming on down. They've got only a few days to go. They finally have it. Oh, that took them forever. Wait, Isabel. We were meant to be friends. Hold on. I taught you. Calm down. Don't do that. I know I'm handsome, but come on now. I'm telling you. These people just all need to go to church. I'll take you too. You're strong, so... I'm gonna pick someone good for you. Yeah. She's got powerful lungs. Kind of weird. Let's find someone 
who's a bit younger. That way you'll be able to have a few children. Not my daughter. Hey, back off, okay? She's light-footed. Take that, okay? You're strong, she's light-footed. I'm sure you'll get along. What's over here? A lapidary. A scholar I know of told me he has come across a copy of a lapidary. That is, a treatise on the properties and qualities of various stones, gems, minerals, and so on. Interesting. I would like to borrow that. Sure. Now, we can finally join in a battle. There. I had to wait over here for a very long time until we could finally go out there to beat them. That felt pretty bad, but I didn't have the manpower. Good job, Count Guy. You did it. Now, let's come over here and retake everything that we can. That's why I've got to take over more lands internally. Baldwin is a good man, but he's not a sound military leader. We know that now. Here's another knight. Only 12. I'll take you anyway. Get over here, man. Okay, they're coming back. Would I... Oh, I don't know. Could I beat them? Maybe. Let's try anyway. Count Guy? No, it's back to me. Let's try over here. Yeah, that wasn't all me. Count Guy still killed 50 men. Kosu 38. So our knights did really all of the work. I can't believe how good you are. Again, you can't marry my daughter. Leave my daughters alone. All of you. All right. Let's go into battle and hopefully win, though again, they do outnumber me. I would like to defeat their leader if possible. Here we go now. Okay. Who's over here? You're not very powerful. What about that prince? He's okay. Let's go after him, okay? Here's a duel. Don't forget, I've got a very fast blade. I'll show you how I have to sword. Strike, parry, repost again. One more to go, and it's over. And I have won again. Now, let's have a look over here. Goodbye to you. It's over for him. We're winning. We're slowly winning. Our numbers are going down, which I do not like. Are we going to be able to really do it? I don't know. What's over here? There he is. Shots a voice from over my shoulder. It's Duke Balian, says someone else from another direction. Where are they coming from? I think to myself. Whilst continuously fighting off more and more foes, after a prolonged period of combat, my nearby soldiers desperately tried to protect me, but as their numbers dwindle, I begin to take hits from the larger quantity of enemies. Okay, it is time now. I like those odds. And so I go. I'm alive. I lost a trait because I'm a legendary blade master now. There. So have a look at that. In a sudden rush, my assailants push me at the same time. Blades and maces ready for attack, but all equally unprepared for my own. As a sword dashes in front of me, poised at my abdomen, I slash the hand holding the blade off, and in the following upswing from the same unhanding strike, I send my blade into the hand's owner's throat. Pairing another strike with my sword, I dodge under it and collect the blade grasped by the severed hand from the ground and use it to jab into the nearest attacker's eye. I turn to see many other enemies slowly approaching me, but with a short deal of time and two swords at the ready, the ten or so foes soon lay as mudded corpses around me. I wipe the blood from my own blade and leave the other lodged in the original owner's chest. Who's next? And so, it is done. I've done it. I've beaten a lot today. Okay, they have hundreds of men left. We did lose, but man, did we take a proper accounting of all of them. That was awesome, I think. That was really cool. What's over here? Interesting now. I could become a holy warrior. Fascinating. One knight was maimed, unfortunately. You may have won, but man, we nearly beat them. To me, that was worth a try. We lost what? Only 207 men. They lost over 700 men. Sure, we didn't win the battle, but look at that. My knights killed over 700 men. We'll come back. We'll beat them. Their levies killed 45. They had only numbers and a few good riders. Count Guy killed 105. Okay. Everyone is looking okay. Beracot, you're 50 now. Falco, 27. Nizam, you have your child. 
I'll get them all married later. You've got one eye now, Thomas. But you're doing okay. Yeah, we did a great job. I've never gone into a battle like that, knowing that I would lose, but I felt like that was right. That really did feel right. Unfortunately, Baldwin is losing a war at the moment. That's very unfortunate. I wish I had more money. Ah, one war is over. Have a look at that. They conquered so much land. Wait, how did you gain so much land all over? Do you have more land anywhere else? No, only over there too. Antioch is gone now. I can't believe it. Let's have a look. Oh, that's really a shame. We did lose a lot. But we'll be able to win over here. I did delay them. You want me to become a chancellor? Yeah, sure, why not? I get more prestige. Other vassals like me more. I get more lifestyle experience for diplomacy. That's fine, too. Oh, he's not doing anything. We could come back down. I might not be able to beat them alone, but I'm not going to allow you to take over. I'm not going to do that, no. Let's head on back and get some soldiers together. Oh, no. Have a look at that, though. They're going to be able to call Jihad. That's really bad. Hopefully, they're not going to call one. I don't have the money right now to get more mercenaries. I'm putting away my pride. Count Guy, if you want to go over there and potentially win a battle for us, do it now. Here we go again. Let's get them if we can. We're doing it. Now, I did that because look at what he has over here. Holy warrior, aggressive attacker. We've won. We beat them. And he's got one more trait. Border. It's all great stuff, but I thought aggressive attacker would allow us to quickly bring them down. It did work out. So over here, we lost only 134. They lost over 700. We beat them. We did lose one battle, but we came back and we beat them. That was great, I think. Another warrior wounded. All right. Let's have a look now. He's not doing much of anything, but we are winning the war. I would like to end it. King Baldwin, you are not doing well. I wish you were. Okay. Raymond, you're my brother-in-law. Have a look at that. Oh, my niece died of her wounds. What a shame. Here's another new knight. Only 12. That isn't very good. Let's come back down over here and beat that small army. Oh, hold on. I can't move over there without losing too much. So I've got to retake some stuff. I'm not sure why he's not doing anything at all, but hopefully he'll come down eventually. Because I could use some help. He's finally moving. Was he waiting for something? I have no idea. But get over here, Baldwin. Retake a few bits of land. Okay. My other daughter is brave. They're winning that battle, a very minor one. I can't believe Altair and his Grand Master are conquering lands from us. They're becoming more powerful, which means one day I'll need to challenge what they have. Okay, we did win a war. <gasps> I have a legacy now. Okay. I'm going to carefully think about what I want. Let me know what you think we should have that would be suitable for our leader. But we did finally win that war. I'm currently 44, okay? We are doing fine, we are doing well. I have many children. My daughters will be of age very soon. My wife is four years shy of 50 and she looks amazing. Stephanie, you're 55, I can't tell. Your son over here is 29. Wow, he's got a great trade already. Good for him. So again, let me know what you think we should be doing right now. Our overall goal will probably be to form his empire. I think that's a really good goal. I don't want to do any more map conquering, but here's a really tough goal, so we'll do our best. Now, get ready for part three. We've had so much drama, and before we do anything else at all, let's have a look over here. England, they're doing okay. We know that Richard likes to cheat on his wife. He's a sodomite. That can't be good for his rule. What about over here? Oh, you died. Interesting. So, you were a sodomite too. What did you die of? Your wounds at 34. So he died at a very young age. Oh, they were lovers. 
Richard and Philippe, I bet they were lovers. Look at that. The dwarf is doing well. So England, you're still around though. I do feel for you. Your lover died. What about Scotland? You're a fornicator too. You've got your prince over there. Man, we have a lot of daughters, don't we? And you have a lot of bastards. How's it going over here in Iberia? Oh, they're actually holding on. That's good. Yeah, the Christian faith, they're doing fine. For cultures, well, we're here. We're doing what we can. Yeah, there's a lot happening. Let's have a look around the map real quick. Our old faction back in the day. Yeah, they're holding on. The Mongol Empire, led by Timuchen. Cheating on his wife. But you have concubines! You don't need to cheat on your wife! So Jochi is still alive. And you are 38. You're still conquering a lot of lands. Oh, but he's fighting too many wars. He might not be able to win. Who knows? That might be too much for him. I guess we'll find out. He probably bit off a bit more than he's able to chew. Kumania over here. They're holding on. I'd like to offer a big thank you to everyone who has been contributing to this series too. All of you YouTube members, patrons, all of you, thank you so much. Look forward to more stories coming very soon. And as always, until then.